Welcome to the Celiac Diva! My wife was diagnosed with celiac. Okay. So when she was diagnosed, we didn't know what she could do. It's the typical thing that all celiacs understand. What am I going to eat? How am I going to survive? And it kind of went on a journey from that to learning all about celiac. Then we ran into a lot of people that we knew were also celiac. Right. And I started wondering just how many. So I started investigating on the internet and websites and making some calls and discovered they said there were 2.1 million people that had it. But what I discovered was it's far more than that. Because it's not only the people affected with celiac, but it is all of their family, their friends. If they're going to go to lunch, they have to go to some place where they can eat. And if they can eat there, they and their friends are going to go somewhere else. Right. So between that and the fact that my wife could no longer eat at Subway. That's a big factor. <laughs> which was a big deal. You know, that, that's kind of a problem. So once we understood that, I started trying to research what could we do to try to get my wife back in and those other friends and people that have celiac. So I started working with a corporate office. It took 18 months to convince them there was a need and that we should test this. Finally, the company founder uh, permitted me to do that. And when he did and gave the directive, um, it opened up the resources of Subway, all their vendors, the vendor network, um, and a lot of their personnel. Our head baker at Subway was really excited about it. We have some people at Subway that are celiac also. So we kind of, um, trying to cut it short, we went through a long journey. We narrowed it down. We had tried six different bakeries, 19 different products, and we narrowed it down to this. The million dollar question, how do you prevent cross-contamination when making sandwiches? When we do it, and that was a big concern of ours. So we get a different, uh, we, we use a plastic knife okay. that is separate. So it's separate from our normal knives that we use. And we use disposable, so we'll take it, we'll open up the package, it comes in pre-packaged. Okay. Individual packets, it comes from a factory, we're totally gluten-free environment. Cool. So it comes to us packaged, when it, we open the package, cut it with a plastic knife, when we're done with the knife, we throw it away. It goes on to a new piece of paper. Okay. Each one of our uh, sandwich artists uses a fresh pair of gloves. Okay. They change them after each one. Then it goes on, the paper goes down the line. So as it goes down the line, it will reach around the, the vegetables. So like we'll go to the bottom of the vegetable pan and we'll go, so we'll go to the bottom of the, the tomatoes uh, and all of that just to make sure we're not cross contaminating. Okay. And then they go take it down, they wrap it, put it down there. And then so it's really come from the prepackaged environment down to you without any of us touching hands. And for the large part, you can be assured there's no cross-contamination. If somebody has a severe allergy, maybe they ought to question. How has it been received by the gluten-free community? It's been received exceptionally well by the gluten-free community. Our biggest problem is getting the word out. Okay. That's very difficult. The company at this time won't let us spend money. So they want word of mouth. Um, and that's what we wanted. Um, we're not so much looking to make money on this as it is we need to be able to break even so that our franchisees are happy with this. Yeah. Um, and they all recognize that they're doing a good thing. But they, they would like to uh, sell a few more uh, to be satisfied with it. So right now, they're okay, but we really want to get the word out. It has expanded to Portland, Oregon from our area. So Portland went on a 50 store test. They've expanded to 250 stores. And then Tacoma, Washington is coming on board in a month. Wow. And then Minneapolis is looking at doing it within the next couple months. Wow. And we're hoping to get this out and spread out. The company has told me very directly, the chief marketing officer and the president and founder have said, we like this, we want to do this, then I need to work harder. So once we get the word out, yeah, no pressure at all, you know, none at all. So I need to work harder. And if we can get this and basically double what we're selling every day, which isn't that much, if we can do that, they have promised me we'll go national. Wow. And then if we go national, the full intent is to go international with it. We have 34,000 stores worldwide, and that would be a good thing.
So that's what our goal is to go worldwide with. That's awesome. Well, we're going to continue to get the word out, you guys. We need it. Go check out Subway. Check out the gluten free sandwiches at Subway that are available now. And thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you. Woohoo! Thank you. <laughs>